All right, uh, let's try this again. This is right where I would have gone back. Now, uh, right when you go in here, apparently I forgot that this is what was right after this gate. You'll be on top of like this pedestal thing. You push shift because the rune glyph's on top of that. Um, and if you jump down right away and go under the pedestal that you're on, there's a room under there. And let's see if I can uh, do it fast enough. Uh, okay, for some reason it, did, it didn't uh, come down and that was a jip. Let's see if it... Um, oops. Oh, freaking hey. This has never happened to me before. <laughs> See, oh, hello. You guys get to experience a little bit of frustrating fun. Okay, now I can't really remember the order I did it in last time. Uh... Now, do I go this way, and then this way, and yeah. Alright. Oh, let's see if it works this time. Yeah, and if you would have made it in that doorway right there, you would have gone down into this other room, but I'm not going to bother. Okay. Now, you've activated that rune glyph. I hope this is the right way. Yes. Okay. Now you have three of them activated. And so this time, go back here, jump across these again. You're back in the hub where you first start. Try not to fall off these. If you do, you go through that door down there and you have to navigate another set of those confusing island thingies. Now, the last thing you do is you go through this door. And I think this is the tower section. No, fire stop section. Which you're just dodging fire. <sighs> and, oh, I do really like these island things, but there's just so many of them. At least they're different, usually, like every other time or something. So this time, what I thought was going to happen last time is going to happen this time. So I will be speaking the truth this time. Oh, hello. Gosh, my mouse is still not cooperating. I switched mouse pads. Oh, where are we going? Right here. Okay, now, when you enter here, you'll be in a tower section. Uh, and I'll just show you how that works. Alright. Here, there is a wraith up there who is constantly shooting at you. Usually there's enemies down here uh, with you as well. So you can collect all the stuff. Uh, there's a chest. So, there's a loose brick right here. It would be on the opposite side of the walls when you first came in. And what that does is it opens a little shelf type thing right here. Uh, run around to the wrong side. Over here, another brick. Uh, 
Okay, that opens right here. Oh, come on. And I like to just get rid of this guy. Oh, come on, turn. Go over here. Brick right here. Opens this here. He's a stinky little devil. Oh, that turns, huh? Ooh, that was close. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Okay. There he is. For some reason he's looking the other way. Alright, killed him. And we have the other brick here. There's some rooms. Uh, down below you on the side of this tower you can get in with treasure chests uh, that open this I prefer to backflip because sometimes it won't uh, jump up right okay you've activated the last one and to get down without hurting yourself just jump on these and you have to jump all the way around and around Okay, and you're back in the hub where you first went in. Alright, now that you've activated all four of those rune glyphs, go back to the Kingston where where uh, Lord Kingston was getting pelted by Nether, which is to the right up here. Okay, and this shadow gate will have appeared. Go through it and you get to three more shadow gates. I don't know why they have this, but all three of them lead to the same place, so, which is out to these islands. So here we go again. And, oh, that was quick. Okay. And you end up here, which is another fire spot section. I will have to save this for next time, because it's already time to go again. So, I will let you go, and I'll meet you right back here again.